Now, the boy's mother is now preparing to lay her son to rest. KNW's Clarissa Bustamante is live in studio with what the family is now saying about the situation. Clarissa. Peyton, I spoke to Lazara Jones today, just days before her son Messiah will be buried. Jones tells me after trusting Rayvon Smith with her child, she was shocked when she heard the news. A grieving mother. Like, I feel like I didn't get a chance to give my baby a kiss or a hug before he passed away. So, I don't know. Now demanding answers after her five-year-old son died in the care of his stepmom. Was he screaming for me or... How, why would she why would she go that far to where a child make her that mad to where she had to kill him and take his life? Lazaria now faces nearly fourteen thousand dollars in funeral fees for her baby boy, a cost she doesn't plan on sharing with Messiah's dad or stepmom. They were never there. I was like mom and dad to Messiah. The steep cost comes from her wanting her baby's final resting place to be in California. But Henry Beasley, the owner of Rowell Parish Mortuary, says she doesn't have to do it alone. We're going to do whatever it takes to help her get her baby back out to Sacramento. So if that includes um, reducing some prices, uh, wavering some prices, whatever it takes to get her um, closure. With the casket goes the grieving mother. She says now that her baby is gone, she has nothing keeping her in Arkansas. A memorial trust fund has been started at First National Bank in Fort Smith where people can donate any, in any location. Live in studio, Clarice Bustamante, KWA Northwest Arkansas News.